What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a minute since I posted. Uh, you know, I've had a lot going on. I uh, kind of want to get back into pranking soon. Um, but in today's video, I am going to be tinting my windows. And this is kind of difficult. Um, so I'm probably not going to record a whole lot. I'm going to have people help me. So, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty hard. I've already tried t uh, with a different tent on a pickup truck and that turned out terrible. So I don't have very high expectations for this, but, uh, hopefully it turns out well because, um, it's a lot cheaper to do it yourself and I'm trying to build this car myself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tint the windows. I have a 5% tint and I got a cheaper tent because if it doesn't turn out well, I didn't waste a whole lot of money and it's just kind of to practice because eventually I'm going to upgrade to a better, more expensive, uh, more durable tent. So, yeah. So this is the tent right here. I got it from AutoZone. Uh, it's not the best tent in the world, but it's decent and just to practice. And in case it doesn't turn out super well, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, wasn't too expensive either. I think it was like 30 bucks. So on the cheaper side and here I have all the like tools I need, like a squeegee scraper thing, uh, some tape and I have a knife to cut the tent and, uh, some microfiber towels, uh, some soapy water. So yeah, pretty much all the stuff I need to tent my car. All right. So this is the first window, you know, 5% film on it. And, um, there's a couple little spots between the, um, the film and the window that I couldn't quite get out, but for the most part, it looks pretty, pretty good. Not too bad, you know, a couple things there I can squeegee out maybe. And then there's a little corner where I didn't get um, any film, but you know, that's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, that's the first, first window. All right, it's the next day. Yesterday I finished up the passenger side window and uh, Whenever I started trying to put on the tent for the driver's side window, it uh, we ran out of film. So I have to head back to AutoZone and pick up another um, another film. But I'm gonna go to the gym first, and this is what the film actually looks like from inside the car. So this is what the tent looks like um, from looking out of the car. And what I might do for that little corner over there where I cut it wrong, I might just use some of the other tent that we um, that I buy and I'm just gonna overlap it and fill in that corner so hopefully that works and doesn't look too bad since I understand how to do the tinting a little bit more and um, kind of makes sense now I think I'm gonna record some more of the process so you guys can see it um, but for now I'm gonna go to the gym and then AutoZone to pick up some more film so I can do this driver's side all right, I made it to AutoZone, so I'm going to run in and get the tent. All right, so I just got back from AutoZone. I got the tent right here, 5%. Um, and this is pretty much everything you need, right? So just some fi microfiber cloths, the tent, of course, uh, soapy water, uh, tape, a knife that you can uh, use to cut the tent with, um, and some squeegees, like some scraper things to get some of the water out. And these are my mics, but that's pretty much everything you need. Uh, it's mainly just taking your time and being careful with the tent. And something I would recommend is going somewhere where it's not windy because then you end up fighting with the tent. So I'm just in my garage and uh, I have the light because the tent's dark and my car is dark. So it makes it easier. Okay, so the first thing you're really gonna wanna do is get like your soapy water glass cleaner or something and uh, spray down your window and get it nice and clean because you don't want like any dirt or any dust or anything on your windows whenever you put the tits on. So just make sure they're clean from both the inside and the out. And like I just said, you wanna make sure the inside of your window is also clean. So get your glass cleaner and clean the inside as well. And if you did use um, some sort of ammonia uh, cleaner or uh, just glass cleaner in general and something that wasn't soapy water, I recommend uh, just to spray it down with soapy water and uh, clean it off again. And same thing on the inside as well. The next thing you want to do is figure out which side of the tent is the uh, sticky side. 
So the way I do that is I get a piece of tape and I tape the corners down uh, on opposite sides. So when you pull them apart, it uh, takes some of the like tint off, kind of, because tin is pretty much just like a big sticker. So sometimes it takes a couple tries, you have to push it down. And okay, uh, if you see right here, this transparent part is coming off, and this side right here is sticky. So I know exactly which way to put it on the window. So now that you know which side the sticky side is, um, I know it's facing me right here, so this is sticky side. You want it to be facing you. Um, so I'll lay it on the window just like this, and I'll go across the whole thing. But before you put the tint on the window, you need to spray the window with soapy water. You don't need to dry it off or anything. Um, just spray the window down and be generous with it because it allows you to uh, move the tints around freely. So put quite a bit on there. And now what you're going to need to do is um, grab your tint and you're going to need to place it here and put it on the window as you go so it sticks. Um, piece of paper that came with it, set that to the side. All right, so right around there. And then you just need to cut off the excess so just like that and just like that and there you go you want it to overlap on the sides a little bit and you'll cut off some extra but right after you do that you want to straighten it out if you if it wasn't so I'll straighten it out a little bit here kind of pat down on some of the like corners and stuff and move it up a little bit because you want to use the bottom of the door like the ledge here kind of just use that so the tint doesn't fall over or fall down or anything when you're working it just kind of holds it in place a little bit so whenever all that's there you can cut off some of this excess right up here so because you don't need all this extra and it kind of weighs it down a little bit, so kind of makes the job a little bit easier. All right? And you can throw that to the side. And there you go. The tint is on the window, and you're ready to do some cuts. The first cut you're going to make is going to be on the long side of the window, so not the short side, but the long side. And it's going to be right along this like window and this rubber. So... You don't want to start from up here, so start a little bit down. So I'll put my finger right around there, and then I'll cut the outline out all the way down. And that's pretty much it. But whenever you use the knife, if you have one like this, you want to use like the very first click up. You don't want to use a whole lot so it doesn't cut into the rubber or anything like that. Just going to use this. I'm going to move the tint a little bit and then cut it. Find where it is, where it starts, go a little bit down and cut. And then just rip off and there you go that's the first cut the next thing to do after your cut is move the tint back over a little bit past the seal over here or like this edge because you want to make the tint just a little bit bigger than you uh, than like the window is because it gives you some room inside and it makes the job a whole lot easier and you shouldn't have any like gaps or anything then so move it over to the side so it's overlapped a little bit and then you come over here to this and you do the same thing that you did on this side. 
So don't start at the very, very top, just a tiny bit down. So if the very top is right here, I'm going to go a little bit down. So put my finger right around there and then just cut down. And if you can, angle the blade away from like the rubber because it makes, because then you won't cut the rubber or anything like that. So it's right there. Let's start the cut and angle the blade away. Cut all the way down. And this should just rip right on off. And always t like rip it away like that. And should be good. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do uh, to make sure you have this part at the bottom, you're gonna open the door. You're gonna find your first seal. So it's right around here. Um, and then you bring the tent just slightly below that. Uh, so I can probably even move mine a tiny bit up. And yeah, there you go. You just want it slightly below the seal. So you don't have to uh, have any like extra room when you're putting in the tent into the car. And if you can, try to straighten it out so you don't have so many air bubbles or anything like that just like i'm doing here you gotta take it up kind of pull it keep the other side anchored down and there you go that should be good so you want it just below that first seal because what we're going to do is we're going to need to anchor this to the window and roll it down so we can cut this top piece off the same angle as the window Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go inside the car and turn your key over. You don't need to turn the engine on, just enough to get your battery running so you can roll down your window a little bit. You don't want to roll it down a lot, just a couple inches. But what you want to do to make sure um, that this part stays in place, you get your soapy water and you're going to spray it a couple times, you know, just like that. And now you're going to get your scraper or squeegee, whatever you call it. And you're going to tack it into place right here, just like this. And this also uh, helps get rid of some of the air bubbles and fingerprints if you uh, have been touching your tent all over, which I have. Because uh, you want the tent to look clean. You don't want any dirt or anything on it. So when you put it on, uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't look bad. You're going to get a little bit more on this side. Because this just adds a little bit of weight to keep the tent in place. And as a safety precaution, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this just a little bit so it doesn't snag on anything. And, oh, and now just roll your window down a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. I think that should be good. Okay, now this next part, it's personal preference on which way you want to cut it. But uh, I like going from down, uh, from down low to a little bit higher up. It just, it's easier for me. And what you want to do with the knife, you don't want it one click up on this one. I would say maybe two or three, where it's probably halfway between uh, the next blade, if you see that right there. Um, because you don't want it to like cut the rubber, but you want it a little bit more because you're going to end up writing on this window right here. So let's find where this window starts. Right around here. Okay. And then you're just going to go along the window, uh, having the knife pinned against the window while cutting off this excess um, tent. You could probably do it a lot faster than I am, but I'm just being safe here, so it looks nice. Okay. And now with this extra, you just need to rip off this extra right here. There you go. And that's it. So 
little bit was kind of hard for me because it snagged on the window like right here, right here, but off camera, I'm just gonna kind of even those out and that's pretty much it. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna straighten the corners out is you have excess tint like that just hanging. So what you're gonna do, move the tint. I always like to start with the uh, top right one first. So move it down, try to keep the tint as straight as possible because you really don't want to crease it. So we have a little bit of excess tint right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a straight tool right there and cut off that little excess and then round the corner. So this one you don't need a whole lot of knife for just around the corners, just a little tiny bit. So you're going to get straight. And if you have a glass board, that's better, but I don't, so I'm just going to use the glass on my car. All right, there you go. I got that little piece off. And um, at this stage, you might want to get another blade because it's getting a little bit dull, especially for me. But I don't have the tool on me to uh, remove the blade, get another sharp one. So what I'm just going to do is just try not to ruin anything and just use this one. But I would definitely recommend getting a sharper blade because after a few cuts, it'll get dull. All right. So after you round out that corner, I'm going to do that real quick. Just kind of cut off that excess. That's a tiny piece. So I'm just going to be able to freehand that one. Uh, then you do the bottom one. You know, you, you do the same thing with all of them. The bottom ones... Um, don't have a whole lot of excess stuff, so you don't have to do too much with those, but you just have to kind of round them out. And be careful with the tent, you don't want to crease it or anything. So I'm going to round this one out. There you go. So that one's rounded out. And just do the same with the other two as well. Okay, so now what you're going to do is get the tint from the window. Be careful as you don't want to crease it. Um, you're going to find a flat surface and a clean one as well. Flat and clean is what you want. And you're going to set it down because now you need to um, peel apart the transparent layer from the sticky layer so you can put it on the inside of the car. So. After you do that, you're gonna, after you put the tint down, get a piece of tape, tape it to a corner, grab another piece of tape, and you're gonna tape it to the other side of that tape, and make sure it's at the corner because that's where it's easiest to peel. Put a lot of friction between them. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Uh, right there, there, I got it. So, now you can take off the tape on the sticky side, take off the tape, set that over to the side and you can peel this layer. Just like this, slowly so you don't overlap the tint and get it dirty or stick to itself. But there you go. That's it. Okay, this is pretty much the last step. You're almost done. You're going to um, open your door and you're going to spray a ton of soapy water. Um, want a more mist here. There we go. A lot of it, uh, you, you really do want a lot because it's sticky and you don't want the tent to just stick and bolt over itself. So you really do want the tent to be able to slide around freely on the inside. And I would also recommend spraying the sticky side of the tent with some of your soapy water as well. So I'm going to leave my door just like this.
spray the soapy water on the tent. And I'm going to pick up the tent very carefully. Uh, and you don't want it to stick to itself like it is for me. Uh, and you're going to bring the tent to inside of the car and you're going to throw it on here. I would say do this corner first. Corner is probably the hardest part. Uh, sit down if you want to, make it easier. Uh, you gotta push. Okay, I'm really struggling, but I'll straighten this out and you get the point. Now from the inside of the car, you want to squeegee out all this water and all this stuff, just like this. Uh, try to get rid of some of these fold marks as best as you can. And that's pretty much it. And if you have any excess um, stuff, you just want to cut it off. But see if you can tuck the window tent into the door here without folding everything over like an idiot. And that's pretty much it. Squeegee all the stuff out, uh, take your time, and that's it. That's all there is to tinting. So that's all there was to tinting. That tent is on, you know. Um, and this tent is on as well, you know. I also fixed up that corner down there. And yeah, looks pretty good. For the most part, you know, I got tents on the back as well. And the only thing was this little corner down here wasn't sticking, so I taped it down, uh, but it, it should be fine. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching um, me tint my windows. It's a 5% tint. Hopefully the part where I uh, tried showing you guys how to do it helped some of you. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And in the comments, let me know video ideas you'd like to see me do in the future. With all that being said, see you in the next one. Bye.